This edition of My Wisconsin comes from the Abbey Resort and Marina in Fontana on Lake Geneva, Wisconsin. Welcome to another edition of My Wisconsin. Today I've traveled to the town of Fontana to the Abbey Resort and Marina and they have a terrific boat show today. They have boats in the water and out on land on trailers. I'm gonna go look at some really great classic boats and some modern ones as well. So let's go on in and take a look around. So where do I go first? Do I go over to the boats on land or do I head down to the water? I think I'm going to go to the water first. Uh, this gentleman is uh, Pat. Pat, what's your last Pat, name? Patrick Mayer. Hi, I'm Brian from One Year Out Productions. It's a pleasure to meet you and thank you for letting me uh, go aboard your boat. Can you tell me a little bit about her? Uh, she's uh, She was built in 1924 Yeah. Uh, by a company on the Hudson River called Consolidated. Oh. Um, there's a few of the, the wooden hulls from the 20s still left. Um, I acquired her six seasons ago. Oh, wow. Uh, from the late David Young. Uh, David Young uh, was a, a crazy businessman and he'd been on the boat at a boat show on the East Coast. Yeah. Ended up owning the boat and had it shipped to Wisconsin. Oh, that's awesome. I saw it was owned by Gerald Ford, President Gerald Ford? Nah. Uh, yeah, you can go. You can run with that. It was <laughs> 
Sure. It was owned by a man by the name of Gerald, Gerald Ford. We'll just say Gerald Ford. <laughs> yeah. All right, and you do have. Uh, and we do tours on uh, uh, out of the west end of Lake Geneva, which is known as Fontana. Fontana, and you guys do do packages for around the lake. You betcha. That is awesome. Well, again, thank you for letting me tour your boat, and keep an eye out on YouTube. You're going to be uh, famous now worldwide. All right, my pleasure. <laughs> Thanks, guys. All right, so just as I was showing you guys before, I am down underneath here in the front cabin. Looks like it has all the amenities with the restroom here. Nice berth for sleeping and a small little kitchen. And they even got a refrigerator in here like a regular house. That's so cool. Check this out. Wow. 1924. I'm sure it has a lot of modernized amenities, but they sure kept the traditional look. I can only tell you as far as smell-o-vision is concerned, the smell of wood down here is just amazing. So, I'm going to go back up on land and we're going to go look at some of the boats on ground and their boat on their trailers so we can get an idea what some of these old wood boats look like and maybe see if I can find some from the jet age. Um, I saw a few walking out on the dock that I didn't film yet, but I'll see if I can catch a few for you. This is really cool. I thought I'd take a little break from the boats and show you they have a little art gallery display going on here. And some really beautiful artwork here. Look at that, pretty soon we're going to have those colors. I'll be out hunting for fall colors in another edition of my Wisconsin sometime in the fall. Some of you guys may recognize that. I was there last spring at the Yerkes Observatory. I wish I had a drone. I could have got a shot just like that. But hey, nevertheless, in a painting, that looks beautiful. This is all that Lake Geneva offers. is just non-stop fun in the water. All right, let's head over to land here. I think I found my boat. Too much? <laughs> All 
Alright guys, I'm standing here on a ladder next to a boat that my friend Pete, aka Evil Pete, who is a boat builder himself, would truly appreciate this. Let me bring the camera down and I'll show you. This one's due for you, Pete. Look at this. This is a brand new boat. And this is all the guts here that looks like they're getting ready to finish all this out. And it looks like it's all mahogany and possibly teak. Completely unfinished yet. They got the bottom painted nicely. But look at the look at the joinery work up in there. Right there, look at that. Alright guys, sorry about the noise. I'm right next to the air conditioners here for the building. But this boat here, again, I have to mention my buddy Pete, Evil Pete. I think he could appreciate one of these boats. Um, let me just get back a little bit farther for you to look at here. This boat, the way it's shaped, is obviously not for the faint of heart. Look at that, it's all flat on the bottom. Let me zoom in a little bit. Look at that. And it's powered by, I read the thing, a 25 horse outboard Mercury. So Pete, if you're watching this, or if anybody knows, why don't you go ahead and put in comments below what do you think the top speed on this thing is in knots? I have no idea, but this boat pretty, pretty intense. Uh, it's more for speed, not for comfort. That's your seat. <laughs> wow. All right, so I'm moved into the 21st century here, and you look at the size of this boat here. This Mercury motor is gigantic. Now this is a pontoon boat, and it surely puts my pontoon boat, or I should say our family's pontoon boat, to shame. This is quite the pontoon boat. I'm on the ground, I'm gonna see if I can reach up and see if we can get a look inside for the cabin. Incredible. <laughs> it keeps going past the building where I'm at. <laughs> And of course here is another one just right next door. And again, a gigantic motor. Wow. Probably got more horsepower than my little Kia. <laughs> okay, I finally found something here from the mid-50s. The placard said this is a 1955 Cobra Chris Craft boat. Again, all wood. This is amazing. And like I mentioned before, the jet age. Well, I guess having a gigantic wing in the back here would qualify as a jet age style boat. <laughs> wow, what were they thinking back in the 50s? Just ultimate in design. Take it, that is the throttle right there. Very cool. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that little tour here of the boat show uh, in Fontana on the shores of Lake Geneva. That boat behind me here, no price on it, but got to ask, I guess it costs too much. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I'm glad you are back watching My Wisconsin. I'll be filming far more soon here, so keep an eye out here on YouTube with One Year Out Productions. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below to keep up with more content as I continue creating my adventures here in Wisconsin. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you out there.